Welcome to another edition of Cooking with the Caprios. Today we have superstar <laughs> chef Todd English. Todd. Thank you. I appreciate it. Great to be here. Nice Speaking to of see superstars. You again. All right. What are we, what are we cooking today? Thank you. Uh, we're going to make some of these beautiful tomatoes from my, one of my favorite farms, Jim Farms, up in Canada. So, Todd, we're in luck because <laughs> yes. we have a special guest. How we have that, Paul Judge? J. Mashpinati, whose family owns Gem Farms. <laughs> Judge, how are you, sir? Nice, nice seeing you again. Seven Thank to you be in the neighborhood? Yeah, lucky <laughs> good day. To have you, lucky good day. to have you here. Good. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to make some uh, a little fresh tomato sauce with your beautiful tomatoes today. I got a fresh uh, marinara, and then we have a little something special to go on top, Judge. Well, right. let me warn you that my palate has been trained for marinara <laughs> sauce since I was born. So I'm a real, no, I'm going to be right. a real critic. Wow. Godfather no, of flavor no, now. No, no pressure. No so, pressure. So Paul, right? what do you so, think? I think. Let's see what Todd's see. got for us. Well, I'm, you're the know, judge. I have great tomatoes to work with, so I think I'll be okay. I think the saving grace <laughs> is that the tomatoes come from Jim Farms. I, I, I think that's going to help uh, really create the flavor that Todd's looking for yeah. in, this, in this dish. <laughs> Tell us how you grow the tomatoes. Yeah, so these are all grown uh, hydroponically in our greenhouse, all uh, non-GMO varieties yeah. here. Tomatoes Todd is using is a grape tomato to give it that, that sweeter taste with the bricks level, uh, more sugar in the tomato, Judge. I'm salivating. <laughs> George, should we make some um, sauce? Let's go. All right. Let's you get need, it. You, do you even need me right now? No. This point? We need <laughs> you don't need think so. I, we I'll go sit you. down and take a break. Okay. All right. Olive oil. I like to make it with lots of olive oil. I'm going to use a nice virgin olive oil here. Okay. We'll give it a good amount there. There we go. Put some garlic in there, about half okay. of that, Judge. That's okay. some, I like to slice. Now, it's interesting when you cook with garlic is that you can chop it, and when you slice it, it kind of comes out two different ways. And this one actually seems to be almost uh, sweet. You get a little bit more. All right, now, with that, we're gonna put a little bit of this anchovy paste in. All right. Okay. About, about a quarter of that. Then I just put, I use whole anchovies and just let them melt. This is just a nice uh, anchovy paste or puree, okay? Do you like anchovies in here? I love anchovies. I know, I'm a big fan of anchovies. I love anchovies. Yeah. <laughs> you can't go wrong. I know, I know. So you get them, just get a little toastiness. See, I get a little toastiness on there. And then, Judge, I'm gonna throw in some of these tomatoes. Now, what we've done with these tomatoes, we actually uh, blanched them, and uh, there you go, and uh, okay. peeled them. Let that cook down there, like that. I'll add just a little bit of some marinara sauce that oh, I made in the order. There we go. I don't know, where, what part of Italy is your family from? From uh, Teano, which yes. is in Cassetta. Which is north or south? It's, it's in southern Italy between Rome and Naples. Oh, it is. Okay. So you like a little heat in your pasta. We do. Yeah. So these are calabrese peppers. Okay. Is that okay? Well, that'll be a nice From Calabria. Stuff. Yeah. Okay. These are one of my favorite peppers. Add just the right amount of spice. They're not too spicy. I'm going to steal some garlic over here for my little treat here to you guys. Okay. This is a sauce that I love. It's gotten really popular. So, Judge, we're going to put a little bit of that cream in there. Mm-hmm. Oops, I want to lose a little bit of oh, this butter. This is heavy cream? Yeah, a little bit, just about, yeah, a little bit more. Mm -hmm. There you go. So this is like a, it's like a penne a la vodka, but I'm not using penne, penne. And there's some vodka in that pitcher there. Some vodka? Mm-hmm. Uh-oh, now we're getting interesting. <laughs> vodka infused tomatoes? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a Bloody Mary oh, sort. Oh, you're going to love that. <laughs> All right. Let me take this out. Got to have these shells. I love these big giant shells. All right. And, uh. Had those cooking ahead of time there. Put those in. Yep. Yeah. This is shy with the parmesan. Yeah. All right, guys. Should I plate this? Well, you ready? I'm ready, I'm ready when you are, you buddy. Ready? It's bubbling and we're just right. looking at it, rusting after it. Oh, it's wonderful. Look at that. Look at there, that. There you go. I'm, but I'm not done yet, Judge. Hold on. We have something Ooh. special here. Wow, well, look at that. Cooked off a few lobsters for you. Wow. Like that. And to keep this consistent, I'm gonna put a little vodka in here too. <laughs> right? The vodka adds a, a lot of flavor, no? <laughs> yes, a little bit of cream. And put that cook. Oh yeah. Look at that. Hey, Judge, that's gonna be fantastic. Right? I think I, I smell some delicious oh tomato sauce. It's Dave Bro in the kitchen. Here. My son yeah, David yeah, is here. Right? How are you? <laughs> Paul, good to see you. you yeah, never enough caprios in the kitchen. It's <laughs> a pleasure, my friend. <laughs> Every good to time see you, David. I'm in the kitchen, my protagonist, my son David, comes in the kitchen. I know, I'm beginning to feel that too. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like I showed up just in time when it's time to plate. <laughs> so it is. I hit my cue right on time. Timing was key, David. I know. We're going to put a little bit of Parmesan over the lobster and the cream. Look at that. How's that look? I hope you're hungry, Dave. Right? David, this cooking, this pasta sauce would make your grandmother so proud. <laughs> 
I think, I hope so. The fact so. that we are here. Either that or roll just, over, just right? No, <laughs> no, she would be so proud. It really s looks and smells so delicious. Right. Um, and again, you know, you can just make that nice tomato sauce. You could use shrimp in this. All right, gentlemen, you ready to try some of this? I am anxious. All right, this looks pretty good. Tasting pretty good. There That's you great. go. Here you are, Judge. Paul. Thank you. There you go. Do you have a fork? We have forks over there. Mm. That's excellent, Todd. Yeah, my pleasure. The, the one word I would use to describe this is smooth. <laughs> it's good. absolutely delicious, but it has a s superb consistency to it. Good. The sauce just pops yeah. the flavor right through the lobster and the yeah. and the pasta. Good. Absolutely delicious. Good. Glad you enjoyed it. The Thank amazing you. thing about this is that there's just not one flavor that overpowers the other. Like they all complement each other. Mm. And it just blends together with just one real great taste. And believe me, I know Italian food. <laughs> and I know my pasta. And I know my sauces. Yes. And Todd? You know, I was only a little bit nervous today, but that's okay, I made it through it. You're the home run today. <laughs> Hey, Judge, always great to be here with you. I love you. Just love great. hanging thank out you with you. Thank you so much. Glad you enjoyed. Thank you. And thank all of you for joining us on Cooking with the Caprios. I look forward to you joining us again for our next episode. In the meantime, be safe and stay healthy.